All right, well, we are wrapping up that first day. So uh, after I got done with that third property, um, it was pretty late. So I just had to back around in a circle, went in and grabbed something to eat at this gas station. Um, and while I was in there, uh, a couple things happened. One, I found out that they got four inches of rain yesterday. So that's a lot of rain in a short period of time. So um, it kind of changes the way I think about some of the deer sign I saw because a lot of it got washed away. So um, the second area that I went to where I found that scrape, um, there was active, I mean, there were, I saw deer tracks and, and deer sign. That had to have happened quite recently because the rain hadn't washed it away. So that's probably a little better spot than I thought it was. Um, I saw a pretty nice buck in the field, um, not on public, but it was nice to see a pretty good deer. And in that gas station, there was probably two dozen bucks, um, mounts, and I would say 80% of them were over 160. So I'm clearly in an area that has some pretty nice bucks. I wish I uh, found a little bit better setups than I found today, but... I feel like I'm probably going to see some deer in the morning because I'll at least be able to see the bean field on the private and get an idea for what the deer are doing. And then there all those beds that were in that tall grass. Um, I might catch something coming off those beans to bed and, and have something to work with. But, you know, it, w it wasn't a banner day by any means. But it's kind of how it goes sometimes when you have so little time, you know, to scout. And like I said, I didn't do a lot of pre-scouting like I normally would digitally so um, I'm not out of the game but I don't know that I'm in it yet anyway so um, I'm gonna put this video together which is what I'm doing right now that you're watching right now so it's kind of weird and then I'm gonna sleep and uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning all right well it's the opener opening morning here I'm hunting out of this saddle this morning, but it ain't gonna last very long. Got set up here in the dark, and I don't like this setup at all. I can't see enough of what I want to see to learn anything, so I'm probably just gonna hop down and. Just work my way through here slowly and observe and see what I can find out. There's no time to waste, so I don't want to waste it hoping something walks by here when I don't know, I don't know where the deer are yet, so. I don't want to count my chickens, but I might have found a spot I actually want to hunt. I finally found some public that has uh, a crop field jutting into it it's soybeans they're turning yellow which isn't great but there's a bunch of deer sign leading up into that field so i'm just gonna i grabbed a real regular stand and sticks um, because it's not that bad of a walk to get it back here so i'm gonna go ahead and get this up real quick Pretty easy. I like this setup. No idea if there's box, but there's deer, and that's what I need. So this evening, this evening, I should see some deer. I'm gonna lower my camera. Eat and grab out of this thing. All right, let's go. I'm gonna look at one other spot, and then I'm gonna check the creeks and see if uh, they're low enough to trout fish. So you uh. I set up here, I just got out from hanging that stand and there's a bunch of poison ivy all over that tree. So I always have a bar of soap back here and water. I'm just gonna wash uh, my arms and face off real quick. Try and keep from getting. So here's my setup. Uh, got the bed in there, storage in here. I got a cook stove and Various bags, lighter fluid for the charcoal grill. Normally I don't have the cooler 
in my bow case back here. I just do for right now. Normally this aisle way is open. And there's a drawer right here that will store some more stuff. That tote is the only thing I have. In terms of hunting clothes, that's it. Um, so yeah, got my trout rod right there. A little fan. The light works nice. I do have a power inverter. I didn't bring a battery with me this time because it's only two days, but usually I can have a deep cycle a marine battery in there. And that uh, lets me charge stuff a lot easier. Now later in the season, like I say, when it gets colder, I might have to use a little suitcase generator and try to um, find a way to heat this with a, a little electric heater because I'm not comfortable using a propane one back there. But yeah, this has uh, saved me a bunch of money. It's definitely made it more efficient. I can keep everything, like from now on, pretty much everything will be back here right through deer season so I'm always kind of ready to go and uh, it's just you don't need a lot of stuff you really don't for my tree stand setups um, I got the saddle and a set of cutoff heliums that's my portable or my mobile setup and then I have that one stand that I just set up with uh, heavier sticks I'm gonna get some lighter sticks before I get too far into fall here but um, I put those on a pack frame and I can carry them easy so that's it that's all I need so now I have my one stand set up back there and I still have the mobile set up for doing whatever I want to do running gunning anything like that but when I only have two days I kind of have to just get into an area and stay there and maximize my time there if I have deer sign which I finally do so go check one more spot and then maybe see if I can catch some trout and wait for the afternoon First, uh, first evening I'm sitting in that tree stand that I hung earlier in the day near these soybeans. The bad thing is the wind is exactly wrong. Um, it's a little pinch where a lot of the sign was in my winds. Not always hitting it, but it's close. It's, it's one of those things with such a short period of time. I can't, I can't afford not to hit, to sit it. It's by far the best spot I've found. I just gotta hope either the deer come out of a little different spot or with the thermals, it's pretty warm. Maybe, maybe it's gonna go over top of them. I don't know. But no action yet. But it's getting close to that time where I thought some deer should be moving, so.
That certainly makes things a little more interesting. That was a dandy nine pointer, wide. It looked like he literally just shed. His antlers were still kind of red tinted. The doe came up around. And the wind's blowing this way. I don't think she could ever smell me, but she might have smelled where I walked earlier today and she got a little spooky and ran a little bit and then they cleared the field. He has no idea what it was. The problem with this spot is the wind direction. Now she didn't smell me because of wind direction, I don't think. She couldn't have. But if I try to think, okay, he'll do the same thing tomorrow night, which he could, I have to move the stand. And the wind is just bad. The wind direction tomorrow is south, southwest, which is even southwest is even worse. So, I don't know. I gotta think tonight what I'm gonna do, whether I hunt here in the morning, how do I move the stand, all that. So, but. Not bad for being here one day. I have a pretty nice deer at 65, 70 yards. Okay, dash cam again. So, get up on top of this hill and I'll stop here. Here's the situation. This is the uh, second morning, which is my last day to hunt. And uh, I decided to hunt that same bean field area that I saw that big one in last night, this morning. Um, it rained and it was quite windy, so my plan was I was just gonna slip into the woods, not really try to get to the tree stand until later in the morning and just kind of observe and see if there were any deer on that field and uh, I need to move that stand, so I was just gonna sit the morning out and then move that stand, but just as I was pulling in, um, another truck pulled up it was just starting to break daylight. I was a little bit late getting there, but it, it really didn't matter the way I was gonna hunt it. Um, and they get out and it was a group of squirrel hunters. And um, I talked to them a little bit, kinda told them I was hunting there, but I didn't, you know, I didn't wanna be a jerk and say, no, don't go in there. So they went in right, you know, first part of the day. I don't know how long they plan to be in there. I'm gonna head back that way and see. Um, and then I also got news that my grandma passed away last night, so I might be all done. I'm gonna try and get some more details and information and then uh, make the decision, but definitely not the way I wanted the morning to go. And uh, I just, I need to go get some more info and figure out what I'm doing.